Hello everyone and uh, welcome. So in this lecture we will want to set up your computer system so that you can uh, compute whatever you want, at least in principle. So first I will show you the Magma Computer Algebra system. For this just uh, search for Magma Computer Algebra. If you search for just Magma you will not find it. There's an online calculator which you can freely use. So Magma is perhaps the best software to use if you're doing algebraic geometry. Uh, I may be a little bit biased, but at least the user interface is uh, excellent. So is the uh, software behind. So let me show you at least how to use this box. Now I've uh, copied this from my text editor and this is in general the most convenient way to do. And I'll say a little bit more about text editors later on. So here, um, without worrying too much about it, what I did is that I created a polynomial ring over the rational field with three variables. So then the variables, I call them x, y, z. And then I created the set for the monomials of degree 5 and I assigned it to mons. And then this command will take a random element of the set mons. All right, there you go, it said something to me. Okay, let's, um, let's now generate another polynomial. This time I will generate a polynomial with seven monomials. In fact, let's make this 20. So 20 monomials, sum them up. I will then generate another one called G. This one is easy, it has three terms. I want to show F. Then here's the interesting bit. I will create a scheme inside the projective plane defined by R, and this scheme will be defined by the polynomial F. Let's also do one with G. And then I want to know the dimension of these objects and whether they are smooth or not. Now, of course, the whole point of this course is to define many of the terms that I just used, but if you have ever heard of them, uh, you should be excited that there's such a nice user interface. That you can talk about schemes on the computer. Of course, this is. Okay, so it tells me that the F I created is this one. Uh, both x and y are of dimension 1, and they're non singular Okay, so this was a short demo of how to use the calculator. Now, you know, to actually use it, <coughs> I suggest that you go to documentation, go down to first steps in Magma, this is a short PDF file, and it will explain you the syntax, how to print statements, factorizing invariant polynomials, how to get help, that kind of thing. Now most of these things are meant to be used on the terminal. So I will show you briefly what it looks like in a terminal. So usually you have an empty screen and let's copy paste now the random seed works much better too. There you go. Okay, now the other thing is that, and this is crucial, you can go to the handbook. Now, if you're searching for a specific functionality, well, you can just write this down. So there will be many, many hits, and then you have to narrow down your search by adding a few more criteria. But for example, there will be there's a chapter on invariant polynomial rings. This will tell you how to create functions, all about structure operations, as you can see, you can say, all right, I want to learn how to get roots. And it will tell you the syntax for this, explains what it's doing. It's very well documented. Um, so because of the fact that we have to deal with the online calculator, and this is kind of inconvenient, 
Magma will not be the main software that we use during this lecture, but uh, it's uh, very, very good and sometimes it does what it does best. Therefore, it's uh, good to learn to use Magma and then uh, every now and then we will come back to it. Now, uh, I will show you the other software that we are going to be using. 